<laughs> She's like, just relax. Are you hitting play? We are in Naples, Florida at Sea Salt, um, an amazingly awesome, fantastic seafood restaurant in this quaint little town. Like we were blown away last night um, at dinner. So I'm using those words for a reason. We had a wonderful meal here last night. Now we're back with Lisette Z Zawai Zawaya. I probably just butchered it after <laughs> practicing it five times. Um, she is the wine director here. So she geeks out about all those gorgeous bottles behind us and makes sure that everybody has a good time. So um, before we get into some questions, um, we're thirsty. Parched, absolutely. Parched. Exactly. What is, what is going to fix that? So today we're having Charles Heitzig Brut Reserve Champagne. Um, this is, well, my answer to anything is bubbles. And it's a great answer yes. to anything. It fixes all your problems. Wednesday, bubbles. Fried chicken, bubbles. Yeah. Fish, bubbles. You just got a new job, bubbles. Bubbles. You just got fired. Bubbles. Exactly. I love it. I answer love it. to everything. So, yes. Well, let's, let's open this up. Let's do it. Perfect. And uh, you're going to go off screen and do something fancy. Absolutely. Wait for it. Wait for it. One second. Don't so, run away now. I'm not running away. <laughs> you're going to savor this bottle. I love savoring yes. wine. Oh, my or gosh. Champagne. So, we've... I've practiced this once before. Once? So only once? Only once. <laughs> only once. Yeah. All right, so you may want to stand out of the way. I tr trust you, <laughs> maybe. Once. Once? I've done this once. Have you? Just yes, once? just once. Oh. Literally just once. I don't know. I can't tell if you're joking, and you've probably done this a hundred times. No, nope, once. You're going to be prepared to be blown away, audience in, in the internet world. Or blown apart. Or blown <laughs> apart. I was not expecting a knife. So, oh, it's... Well, I usually yes. have a saber. No, I'm just saying general. I was not expecting you to have a knife oh, to, yeah. to the... So, um, we have customers off to my right. So, I'm going to have to do this the other way. <laughs> to make things more interesting. Alright, All right, open it. Ready? Don't be scared. I'm not. I am. Not. <laughs> That, that was awesome! I love it. And now we get to drink. Oh my god, the most important part. The most important part. And Megan, why don't you bring your glass up here and just get right in front of the camera. We're good. You get to drink too. So nice of you all. Yay! Yay. When you saber a bottle, you have to share it, right? Absolutely. Oh, all right. Amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, Vintage This is the best occasion ever. Ever. <laughs> ever. All right, so so we don't go too deep in the weeds of this. Give me t that wine in 10 words. And I'm counting. Aged. Bruised apples. Yep. Medium acidity. You can. You don't need to go all the way to ten either. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, That's I'll, it. I'll chime in on this. Um, it is so freaking hot outside right now. The perfect relief for the September Naples weather. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so let's get down to it. You are the wine geek director of this fine establishment. Um, what is one thing, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know anything about Naples. This is my first visit. What is one thing about the Naples food and wine scene that, that you want people to know about? Oh my gosh. So we host the largest wine festival of the world here in Naples, Florida. Um, it's called the Naples Winter Wine Festival, which is where I got my introduction to the wine scene. Uh, real wine scene, besides some unsavory Box things, wine. like Fox Wines, Boone's Bar, Mad Dog that I used to drink yeah. when I was in college. Um, the wine scene here is extremely savvy. Some of the best, like as far as collectors and prestige, we have producers that are world renowned that come here every year. It's such a unique opportunity because we're such a tiny little town and they come here for about 10 days and we have 
wine festival, education, and just a great opportunity to meet other master sommeliers, yeah, that come into town, uh, wine educators. Um, so there's a lot of wine geeks here. Press, absolutely. So not no, we wouldn't expect that from a small town. Absolutely so not. Very, like very it's extremely unique. Um, so unique place. so on the wine geek side, so we're drinking this fabulous bottle of champagne. Yes. Um, tell me something on the menu that you would drink 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 this with. I had to got tongue tied there myself. Absolutely. So the Charles Heidsick, it has a little more body because they actually. Uh, blend from older vintages of wine than most traditional champagne houses, which is why this is like more of a yeah. golden color. It looks like a bruised Absolutely. apple. Absolutely. It has like more texture, Picture. more flavor. So this actually works nicely with um, some fish that may have like a little bit more body. For oysters, I would recommend it maybe with some West Coast oysters, okay. only because they yeah. have a little bit more of a creaminess to them. Um, but I find that this has more flavor where it works well with main dishes, um, whether it be uh, scallops, salmon, things with a little more flavor intensity. So what you're saying is we should come back here, order the scallop dish that we missed last night That's right. and, and, uh, uh, and this bottle. I or, can't believe you didn't order it. There were so many choices You to order. were so convinced that you were going to get that one yeah, too. Oh no, it was you. <laughs> But that's okay. It's okay. Um, sadly, when you have one time to eat at a restaurant, you're going to miss things, which exactly. gives us reason to come back. Um, we like to geek out about designs. A little bit outside of your purview of your day-to-day, -day, I think, maybe. But talk to me about how quaint this little downtown is. Like, Naples is so cool. Oh, yeah. So there's so many different areas of Naples, but we're really lucky to be in the historical part. This is called Third Street South. And I don't know if you're going to film it all outside, but it's uh, the oldest street in Naples. So this was the very first thoroughfare that they had, and um, there used to be a hotel in this area that people could only come by ship. Okay. And the Na they docked at the Naples Pier. Pier. And they used to come down here and stay at the hotel, which was like a resort, and this was it. They've strived to maintain that quaintness it of this southern. area. It's like almost southern charm, Absolutely. which I wasn't expecting in, in southwest Florida. Absolutely. So, That's so cool. Exactly right. All the little buildings are so pretty and small and like with the flower pots yeah. everywhere. It's gorgeous. Um, but it's unique because as you f go further north, we're in the furthest yeah. southern part here. As you go further north, it gets a little more modern, a yeah. little different. But still, it's a great town. And, and this restaurant kind of fits into that motif. However, you do touch on the modern because we look at this beautiful glass display here. You're among the early adopters of Vintage View in, in restaurants. You've had this for years, right? Yes. Like, um, tell me about how much fun, like why why glass wine cellar in the middle of wine cellar, wine room? Well, so the, we've been here for 10 years, but we started out originally with a wooden rack system where it was, you know, yeah. the crisscross and so it was all individual bins and all you could see was the bottom of the bottles which isn't so beautiful right. to look at from our perspective here in the dining room so when we first saw that the possibility of being able to you know organize our wine cellar like this we jumped on it and contacted vintage view because I mean, how gorgeous to be able to display the bottles that we have. Yeah. And you can like visually see like our collections of Gaia, Spinetta. I mean, we have a couple of really unique bottles there. And if you aren't a wine geek, the names that she just said oh there are God. like wine geeky, good <laughs> stuff, good stuff. So yeah. yeah, I mean, I look back there and I get thirsty. My, I'm like salivating That's a little what, bit. You know, yeah. I have to like wipe away the spit from the window all the time because I have a lot of people that come just to look at the wine. All right, favorite thing to do in Naples that has nothing to do with food and wine? Go. Oh, hang out at the beach, definitely. I mean, we're three blocks from the beach right now, and like I was telling them, it's the middle of the summer, so the water is like bath water. It's so nice and warm. I personally like that. Um, and if you ever feel like you need waves, then we just head across to the other coast because our side is the Gulf side, yeah. very tranquil, very peaceful. All right, one last wine suggestion. It is 80 degrees, not whatever. And kind of a nicer day than today, not baking hot. Uh -huh. What wine are you bringing to the beach for your, your afternoon? Champagne. I mean, I thought we already went through this. <laughs> uh, we, we did. I just wanted to see if you changed your, your, your mind at all. So um, so we've learned a couple things that uh, today that uh, Vin or Naples is this cool southern charm, historic downtown awesomeness. Sea salt has, what we learned this last night, amazing food that we love. Um, backed by a world-class wine geek who believes champagne goes with everything and we will
never disagree with that. Oh, yes. So uh, thank you for stopping in and joining us for another time. And uh, thank you so much for uh, for having us and knocking the top off a bottle for us. Yeah, that was so much was fun. fun. Uh, on the other side, that was great. Yes. And thank you, Vintage View. Thank you. Yeah. And I look forward to seeing you guys the next time you're in town. Absolutely. We're coming soon. All right. Bye.